First, use a rip to send the image you want to print. In this video you will find how to print a double-sided image end-to-end. -end. It will guide you through all the steps, from the preparation of the file to the verification of the register between both sides at the end. First, use a rip to send the image you want to print. In case each side is different, we will send both images independently. In case we send two images, both must share size and resolution. In this video we will use an image for side A to print on it, and another one for side B to at. At the IPS, locate the side A image under its substrate type and open its preferences. At any moment, we can convert a single-sided image into a double-sided just switching the double-side toggle. To change the image on one of the two sides, we tap and a browser opens with all other images available in printer. Notice that only those images matching size and resolution are available to select. Select the image to print and accept. Now both images are linked for double side printing. When selecting an image, its properties appear on the left side and can be modified if needed. Also, sides A and B can be swapper using the corresponding icon. This does not change the result but decides which one of the two images will be printed first. Once the settings are correct, save the file. At IPS inbox a new file appears that holds the dual side composition. In this case, a new category appears, with properties for both images which merges both substrate sides properties. From now on, proceed with this file as any other job. Drag the job to the queue preview area. Two different image queues are created at once, one for the side A and another for side B. Side BQ behave as a mirror to grant a correct matching to side A. In case you need to center side A image in the roll side B a base to the same order. Prepare the substrate to print the first side A. Make sure a roll is loaded at the printer. Side A is ready to be printed. Tap on print and wait for the job to be printed. Once side A of the job is printed, you must unload it from the roll. To unload the roll, it is recommended to cut it from the input side, as extra blank paper is needed to reload and print the other side. Marking the last registration line on the other side is not a must, but will be an extra aid later. Load turnaround must be with the roll already spindled. This helps to the correct orientation. Use the extra space saved at the paper when the roll was cut to load it from the other side. If you previously made a mark, it can be seen now over the printing area. Important! Be sure to align this mark with the input side of the print zone as you can see in this demo. This mark is not read by the printer now, but at the time of sending a file to print. The registration line will allow you to sync against any of the marks on side A, not only the first one, permitting to continue printing from another mark in case something interrupts the printing process. Once side A is printed, the job disappears from the available queues at the IPS. Only side B remains. Tap on print and wait for the job to print. 
Important, time to start printing now may be a bit longer, as now it's the time where the printer looks for the first registration mark and repositions the substrate accordingly. Once the job is finished, unload the roll as usual and check the registration between sides. Use a table to cut the job out of the roll. Process the finished job as needed.